Hi everybody, welcome back to Collecting Canadian Cavalry and Armour. Today we're going to take a look at the medals that were earned by the 1st Canadian Tank Battalion, 2nd Canadian Tank Battalion, Canadian Tank Corps in the First World War. Now I know you guys can go, hey wait a minute, the 1st Canadian Tank Battalion never made it to, to France and you'd be absolutely right. And neither did the 2nd Canadian Tank Battalion. But they were in England and they, and therefore, they were eligible for the British War Medal. You'll find uh, many of them, uh, well not many, but you'll find some. Very few will have the Victory Medal because they never served in France. The only time you'll find uh, medals to the Canadian Tank Battalions or Canadian Tank Corps is if the fella had, had already previously served in Europe and then what we call today remastered or went over to the tanks to get the hell out of the trenches and who could blame anybody tanks are so much cooler anyway so that's why the guy would have the victory medal so we're going to take a, a closer look at some of them uh, i've been very fortunate to be able to track down medals from both the first the second and the canadian tank corps the guys in the first canadian tank battalion on their medals, it just says Canadian Tank Battalion because they didn't realize there were going to be two. So they wouldn't have put the first on there. I do have an example that says second Canadian Tank Battalion and the rest are Canadian Tank Corps. The funny thing about that is most of these medals to the Canadian Tank Corps, when you look at their attestation papers, it says second Tank Battalion. So why there was that mess up, I, I haven't been able to figure that one out yet was probably just much easier for the guys doing the uh, doing the medals up, naming them. And don't forget, the guys in the 2nd Tank Battalion had not really even started their training by the war's end. And just after the First World War, Canada decided to uh, introduce a tank corps that would oversee all of the tank battalions. So that could probably be the explanation as to why that was done. So we're going to take a closer look at some of these medals. But before we do that, I just want to let you know, and we'll put the, uh, put the link in the description below, where you can go to the Veterans Affairs Canada website and research uh, the guys from the First World War. On these medals, on the rim, they have the fellow's rank, their name, and their service number. Actually, it's service number, rank, name, and then the unit. Fantastic thing about that is that allows you to type in that information online and you can get this person's whole file. Their attestation papers, their medical documents, everything on these fellas. And you can actually find out where they originated from. Uh, many of these guys started off in the artillery, which is good because don't forget the Mark IVs and Mark Vs had guns on them, right? So they didn't have to retrain the fellas doing that. And it's funny too, sometimes you can find out if the guy was a conscript. Because don't forget, Canada into, introduced conscription late in the war because we were running out of troops. And one of these fellows that I have is, was actually a conscript. So he was smart enough at least to get into the tank corps. Now, I've been very fortunate to be able to pick up this particular medal to a fellow in the Canadian tank corps. He was actually 2nd Tank Battalion. And it comes with a photocopy of a letter that he wrote back home on the letterhead from the British World, uh, British Tank Corps. That's pretty cool. And it's got very nice penmanship too, when they still talk cursive. So anyway, when you get stuff like this, this brings these artifacts home. It, it, it's kinda, it makes it real and you can kind of start to identify with the guy that actually served. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at some of these medals and I'll show you where the naming is and that type of thing. So let's take a bit of a closer look at these medals. You can see here the, these two for the Canadian Tank Battalion. We have an acting sergeant in the 2nd Tank Battalion. And then the rest of these fellows, their medals are named to the Canadian Tank Corps. We also have in, in this little display, we have a nice little uh, veterans pin. Unfortunately, some of the enamel has been, been wrecked. I'm sure I could probably pay somebody to fix it, but I think I'm just going to leave it. Now, we have this British uh, shoulder title. There is some evidence that the Canadians wore these as well. Uh, there's a fella uh, who's active on one of the Facebook uh, pages that we referred to 
who has uh, a First World War Canadian tank battalion uniform with these shoulder titles on her. And down here, this is a sleeve badge that was probably worn by the Canadians only for a very short amount of time, and then they gave them back to the British because being metal, they would catch on stuff inside of the uh, inside of the tank so they went to the cloth ones uh, as you saw in the um, episode dealing with the first Canadian tank battalion badges so we've got uh, the these models are very they're interesting they're kind of neat and again uh, a very important part of the Canadian tank uh, display so let's take a closer look at the naming that I mentioned a little bit earlier when you see on the edge of the metal, the fellow's service number, his rank, his name, and a, the short form for Canadian Tank Corps. All of these medals are named exactly the same way. So it makes it very, very easy for a collector to do the research. And again, take advantage of the information that's available on the Veterans Affairs website. Okay, guys, now if you're going to be displaying this stuff, and that's, again, that's part of the fun of collecting is being able to sit in your collecting room and look around at all your stuff. That's why, you're, that's why you're getting it, right? You can buy these boxes from a couple of different sources. Um, we'll try to put a link on in the description. But the nice thing about them is, well, they're good to look at. They hold everything in, in place. You can either leave them horizontally or you can actually hang them up on the wall like a photo. And it, they make a very, very nice display case. So this is just a close-up of the letter with the letterhead from the uh, British Tank Corps. Uh, Trooper Wilson just writing to, to Helen, telling him about uh, some of the stuff that he's been up to. So it's, uh, it's just a fantastic personal touch to a medal from a fellow that served in the First World War in the Canadian Tank Corps. This is the kind of stuff I really like because that, that puts a human being a person, a soldier, a Canadian, to the artifact that we have. And to me, that's half the fun of collecting. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk on the medals to the Canadian Tank Battalions. Uh, like I said, the guys only had uh, the British War Medal, but they were there, they were ready to serve, and it was just a matter of bad timing, I guess, when we signed the armistice. No, I'm just kidding. We needed peace. So, when you find these things, don't forget to do the research and find a little background on the fellows that earned them. I hope you enjoyed it and happy collecting.